honestly guys this doesn't feel real um i literally just woke up went to twitter and i see this not necessarily from dragon ball official but someone had added me and, and showed me this image and i'm like this has to be fake this can't be real we are getting dragon ball Dima later on in a year this is a project that he truly wanted to put out there and he really came back for it. and now he's not even going to be able to see it and i just truly want to say rest in peace to one of the greatest storytellers artist of, of all time and not only from a manga slash anime perspective but a, a gaming perspective as well not only was toriyama part of my favorite anime and manga series ever he also is part of some of my favorite games ever with the dragon quest series chrono trigger games like that that truly you know, I can play to this day and love and appreciate so much, not only for the gameplay, but I love the art style of those. And that is because of the man Toriyama once again. Now, I want to say this right now, right here. I, I do not want to see anybody in the comments saying, oh, you're just doing this for clicks or, or money or whatever. This video is not monetized. Like, it's a very similar situation to that Kobe Bryant video I did long ago when he sadly passed rest in peace to him as well people were literally trying to say i was doing that for clicks when and and uh views and money when the video wasn't even monetized and the same situation goes right here this is me just saying rest in peace to one of the greatest manga artists one of the greatest gaming artists and just storytellers ever ever on the earth like i i, I cannot say enough how much love and appreciation i have for this man Akira Toriyama and, and without him I, I never would have gotten into anime at all I don't think a lot of us would have gotten into anime at all so I just wanted to share this with you guys share the very very sad news with you at the same time because it's 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 it is so unbelievable like I said just waking up literally waking up 15 minutes after this news drops on Twitter opening twitter and seeing this and again just thinking that it's not real it, it can't be real but then you see it on the dragon ball official twitter and you know for sure this is true this this it, it has sadly happened now in this little letter that they did put out it says dear friends and partners we are deeply saddened to inform you that manga co uh, creator akira toriyama passed away on march 1st Due to uh, acute subdural hematoma, he was in age of 68. It's our deepest regret that he still had seven works, several works, in the middle of creation with great enthusiasm. Also, he would have had many more things to achieve, which without a doubt is true, man. Like, this man, he, he definitely could have done so many more things when it came to the creative space, when it came to manga, when it came to art, all things along those lines, because he was one of the greatest that ever touched this earth without a doubt now it goes on to say however he has left many manga titles and works of art to this world thanks to the support of so many people around the world he has been able to continue his creative activities for over 45 years we hope that Akira, Akira Toriyama's unique world of creation continues to be loved by everyone for a long time to come which without a doubt it will be it, it truly will be I don't see Dragon Ball ever dying down at any point in time like he literally made something that it, it's one of the biggest worldwide just phenomenons in terms of how much it has changed people's lives how much it has gotten people into anime how many people it's brought together and just i cannot explain the love that i had for him again not only from the manga anime an art perspective but also in the video gaming side of things too because again he was part of some of the best video games that i ever played in my life now he they go on to say we inform you this sad news with gratefulness for your kindness during his lifetime funeral service was held with his family and very few relatives following his wishes for tranquility we respectfully inform you that we would not accept flowers condolences uh, condolences gifts visiting offerings and others also we ask you to refrain from conducting interviews with his family as well so if anybody i mean obviously nobody like us 
you know, in America or anything like that would even be able to try that. But for people in Japan or or, or anywhere in that area, I, I truly hope that they do leave the family alone, give them their time, let them be respect this man's wishes right here because this is what he wanted at the end of the day and all of us should respect that at the same time now it says future plan for commem uh, commem commemorate gathering is not decided we will let you know when it's confirmed we deeply thank you for the understanding and support as always like this is it's it it's one of the saddest things you know that I've seen it in quite some time and it's just really rough and I just again wanted to share this news with you guys um and letting you know that it truly is real like it truly is real and it, it's it's so sad it's crazy it puts me in a, a true state of disbelief because again I mean Daima was a project that this man he finally came back you know, for a Dragon Ball project that he was truly enthusiastic about. Like, he truly wanted to be involved with Daima so much, uh, even more than Super, to my understanding. And, you know, he, he never got to see the love and appreciation that people would have had for that series and that part of Dragon Ball as well. And that, that saddens me, but also just for the greatness that this man had left to give at the same time. So... Again, man, I mean, I don't even really know how to end this video. Um, just just truly rest in peace to one of the best to ever do it. A man that changed many lives. A man that brought many lives together. You know, um, yeah, I just, I just think we're going to end the video.